Hello, everybody. My name is David Peters. Uh, I'm the pastor of Grundy Baptist Church here in a little community uh, called Grundy, Virginia. We're here in the mountains. Um, just wanted to share a message of hope with you. Uh, I, I am not here to tell you that I have all the answers to all the troubles and all the problems that we have in our nation today. Um, we, we have a racial issue in our nation today. I personally don't believe in race. I believe that there's one race. It's the human race. But we cannot deny that there is a racial tension and issues in our country today. Uh, we've also had a pandemic uh, that has hit our country, this COVID-19. Now, here in Grundy, Virginia, uh, we don't experience a lot of those problems at all. Uh, we don't experience a lot of racial problems here in Grundy. We've not I I experienced the impact of this Im pandemic in Grundy like they have in New York City. So how can I have a message of hope for everybody? Uh, yet I do believe I have a message of hope for anybody that would listen today. Um, it's not my job to tell you who matters the most. You've got Black Lives Matters and Blue Lives Matter and, and uh, everybody's life matters and all these different opinions and things going on. It's not my job to fix all of that. Uh, it's not my job to really even give you my opinion of all of that. I want to offer you some hope right now. I really do believe there is hope for the United States of America. And friend, I believe there's hope for you. I believe God loves you. I believe he loves you so much there's never anything bad that you could do to make him love you less and never anything good that you can do to make him love you more. He loves you just like you are. The Bible says that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, when the Bible says all, God's talking about all of us. There's nobody better than anybody else. When he says, for all have sinned, that puts me and you, whoever you are listening to me right now, it puts us both in the same boat. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Now, the Bible also says that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, the penalty for us being sinners is separation from God, not having a relationship with him. I personally believe that if you die without having a relationship with God, that your eternal destiny will be in a place called hell. And that's not where I want you to go. And friend, that's not where you want to go. Uh, but it says the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Your life matters. <laughs> your life matters to God, regardless of what color your skin is, your ethnicity, what, whatever the difference is that there may be, your life matters to God. And he, Jesus gave his life that you could have a relationship with him. Said for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Jesus loves you. God loves you so much that he sent his only son to die on the cross to take the punishment for your sin. You say, I don't understand that. You know, sometimes I don't know that I understand all of it either. I just remember that one day by faith when I was 19 years old, I asked Jesus to forgive me of my sins and to save my soul. And in that moment, he touched my life and I've never been the same. In fact, he's been changing me ever since that day. God loves you and God commendeth his love towards you. In other words, uh, God demonstrated his love towards you in that while we were all yet sinners, all of us, while you were yet sinners, Christ died for you and died for me so that we could have a relationship with him. You say, how do I get that relationship? It's as simple as asking. If God's dealing with your heart right now, maybe he's dealing with your heart through the coronavirus. Maybe he's dealing with your heart because of the racial issues. Maybe you're in fear. 
Or maybe you think you don't understand why anybody else would be in fear. But something's bothering you. Something has you tore up on the inside. I want you to know something. You can pray a prayer. And if you're honest with God, he'll come into your life and he'll take over for you. Now, it won't be you in charge anymore. I want to be honest about that. You don't get to give your life to the Lord and you continue to be in charge. If you give your life to God, he's in charge. That means you're going to have to read his word. You're going to have to follow the leadership of his Holy Spirit. You become his child. And for a lack of a better term, you become his property. But that's the way he wants it. And friend, no matter what's going on in your life, that's the way you need it. You need God to be your shepherd, your leader, your boss, your comforter, your counselor, your provider. He loves you so much. He'll give all of that to you if you'll give your life to him. Just right there where you're at. If you would just pray a prayer, something like this, Lord Jesus, I confess that I'm a sinner. I confess I need to be saved. And right now, I I want to be saved. God, I want you to be the Lord of my life. And I want you to forgive me of my sin. Please forgive me right now. Save me from myself. Save me from my sin. Save me from an eternity in hell. And God, right this minute, I pledge to give to you the rest of my life. If you'll pray a prayer, something like that, it don't have to be those exact words. God will do something amazing in your life. The hope for America is not a different president, not a better president. It's not a Republican president. It's not a Democratic president. It's not a black president or a white president. The hope for America is is the gospel of Jesus Christ. The hope for America is God and you putting your life in his hand. Preachers, Christians, the hope for America lies in our hands. And I challenge everyone who is a Christian or a preacher to do what I'm doing right now and find a way to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with everyone you meet, everywhere you go. The hope for America is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share it. Make God the most important thing in your life.